Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. Before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. The James Webb Space Telescope has many eyeballs glued to it, and most recently, it evoked a reaction from tech genius and billionaire Elon Musk, replying to a BBC Twitter article that shed light on Webb's goals of searching the end of darkness. Musk called it a big deal. Imagining life beyond Earth is exciting, but scientists have a very high bar for what makes a planet habitable. And other than Earth, they haven't discovered anything that fits the bill. The James Webb Space Telescope might change that. It's not alone. Long before the Webb was sent to gaze at the more distant universe, there have been a cadre of Mars missions studying habitability closer to home. This includes NASA's Viking 1 mission and its Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, which continue to roam and study the Red Planet. Mars is one example of a planet that has been investigated and probed with several missions over the past several years, writes Inverse reporter Passant Rabi. NASA's Viking 1 mission, which landed on Mars in 1976, was the first probe that Mars's environment was once conducive to life. Now, 46 years later, the long-awaited Webb telescope will assist researchers in the quest to find life by peering into far-off exoplanets' atmospheres. The James Webb Space Telescope, which is the world's most powerful and most complex observatory ever built, is just steps away from unraveling the biggest cosmic secrets and, needless to say, anticipations around it are at their peak. For those new to the scientific leap, launching the Webb telescope is actually a big deal for quite a few reasons. First of all, the telescope is a collaboration of three space agencies, NASA, the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency, and is finally nearing its launch after 30 years of development. Not to forget, apart from an insane amount of time, the space agencies have poured nearly $10 billion to bring Webb into existence. Another reason what makes the Webb telescope a big deal is the path it will be treading on. Built to detect even the faintest of the information carrying infrared light, the telescope will peer back in time nearly 13 billion years ago when the first stars emerged. This telescope being built in a way with results to be expected like that of a time machine, through which scientists will revisit the early days of our universe and learn how the universe got filled with light. It is known that before the Big Bang, all that the universe had in the name of cosmic entity was darkness. And this darkness was eliminated with the ignition of the first stars far away from our planet. The telescope will hunt for the lights that emerged from the first stars billions of years ago after it points its 21-foot gold-plated mirrors towards a tiny space of the sky. James Webb Space Telescope senior project scientist and Nobel Prize winner John Mather told BBC they will be just little red specks. We think there should be stars or galaxies or black holes maybe beginning at 100 million years after the Big Bang. There won't be many of them to find at the time, but the Webb Telescope can see them if they're there. And we're lucky. Scientists from the US, Canada and Europe have all been working together to develop it for more than 20 years. It's being sent to orbit the Sun at a place called the Lagrange Point, more than 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. That's around four times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. It's probably the most ambitious thing that we've done since the Moon landings said Naomi Rao Gurney, a James Webb Space Telescope and NASA researcher. Once the telescope is in position, it will allow us to see the parts of the universe we've never seen before. This telescope is massive. In fact, it's so big that they designed it so it can unfold like origami, just so it can fit in a rocket. Rao Gurney compared the telescope's sun shield to the size of a tennis court. That's the big silver thing around it that looks kind of like an umbrella, she said. It stops the sun from being able to reach all of the important components of the telescope, so it doesn't get hot. 
She said the mirror, which is about 6.5 meters in diameter, is like three stories of a building. The mirror is how the telescope sees, and the James Webb mirror is three times wider than those of any other leading telescopes. This will let it see planets and galaxies that are 10 times fainter than those that have been seen before. Having a more powerful telescope in space will allow scientists to see what is in the atmosphere of distant planets in much more detail. This is important because scientists can look for some of the key ingredients an atmosphere needs to sustain life. Some examples of these key ingredients are oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapors. It will also have the ability to detect infrared light, which will let scientists see part of the light spectrum we can't normally see with our own eyes. With these sensors, the telescope will pick up on light that has never been seen or measured, leaving a huge possibility for discovery. Using this new telescope, scientists will also be able to learn a lot more about Uranus and Neptune, the far-reaching planets in our solar system. Think about it like this. If previous telescopes readings gave us resolutions of an old pixelated game your parents played, this new telescope will provide clearer images like the ones in current video games. There is also an infrared detector, which will let scientists see light from the past. This is because of a phenomenon called red shifting, which simply means that as light gets older, it becomes more and more red due to wavelength. Eventually, it becomes so red that our human eyes can't see it. Infrared detectors allow scientists to see that light. And what's special about this telescope is how far back it will be able to look. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old, said Rao Gurney. They think Webb is going to be able to look 13.5 billion years into the past. This means scientists will soon be able to see some of the first galaxies ever formed. This all sounds wonderful, but there are some obstacles scientists are still worried about. Because they are sending the telescope so far away, they won't be able to do any repairs on it, so they have to get everything right on the first try. This includes making sure the rocket goes to the right place, and that the telescope can unfold properly without making any tears or holes. We can't send anyone to fix it, said Rao Gurney. We can't send anyone to refuel it, so that's why everything has to go right. And they definitely don't want to have to replace this telescope as it's cost almost 10 billion US dollars to create. All in all, it's super exciting to think of all the possible discoveries that can or will be made. Who knows, maybe this telescope will discover new signs of life. With this, we have come to the end of our video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. See you next time.